So apparently you guys like it when I do hair videos. So here we are, another hair video. Gosh, I really hope that turned out okay. Hello everyone, my name is Cece and I am back with another hair video because I'm a sellout. So I've had this hair idea in my brain box for quite a while. I wanted to do like the little undercolor thing that I see going around where it's like, this is like a lighter color and then the top is a darker color. Again, because I'm a sellout. But since I have been growing my hair out, I have physically not been able to do it because there has been no underlayer of my hair to dye for like the past year. So today in a desperate attempt to convince myself that I am still a child and I am not graduating from college in a couple of weeks, I am dyeing my hair purple. So I got this from Ulta and I also have some purple hair dye like over there that I've had for like a bajillion years and I'm gonna dilute that with conditioner and hopefully it'll turn into a nice lavender color like this maybe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section my hair just like around here. Now I don't want to take too much into the top because I do want some of it to still like cover the back and as you can see hopefully in the back I've got a bunch of layers so if I took it like there then there would still be like all of this hair at the bottom here that would just be like peeking out. So I think I'm gonna take off my glasses first. So I think I'm gonna do it like at a temples sort of level, like somewhere between the eyebrow and the eye. She is messy, I'm going to do this at the other mirror. So apparently I didn't actually show myself doing the part here, but basically I just did a little circle around my head, starting at like my temples. And then what I'm doing now is I am applying the bleach, which I just mixed according to the package. And I'm applying it everywhere, which as you will see later, did not work. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a little dark and like hard to see, but the roots went hot. I should have seen that one coming. And the ends are still, like they've gotten a decent amount lighter, but they still definitely need a lot more to go. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with one more coat of bleach because it still feels stable and sturdy and that might just be because I rinsed it with a tiny little bit of conditioner, but it's fine, I'm sure it'll be fine. I still have not shampooed it yet, so hopefully the little coat of conditioner should keep it semi-protected a little bit more. And I'm just gonna concentrate as much as I can on the ends and like any blotchy parts that I missed, like the roots right here, or like there's a splotch like back there somewhere. So I'm gonna do that um, and I will come back when that's done. One hour later. Okay, so this is it. It's not the best thing I've ever seen, but you know what? It's also not the worst thing I've ever seen. It's definitely a little bit inconsistent and it also looks a little bit darker than it will actually be because it's still a little bit damp. But I think considering that we're gonna put color over this anyway, this is an okay level. I think that we can work with this. So we have abused our hair physically, psychologically. It's having an identity crisis. It doesn't know what color it's supposed to be. So we're gonna give it a little bit of love. We're gonna give it a little bit of tenderness, but we're still gonna gaslight it. I've got this hair mask. It's an intense hydration treatment mask. It came with a Christmas gift I got or something. We are going to mix in literally the tiniest little bit of this. It is punky color, whatever their purple color is. And this I'm pretty sure also already has some conditioner mixed in with it. I don't know, it just kind of sort of smells like fake grapes. So we're gonna mix that together in the exact same container we used before and leave it on for a while, I guess. And just take literally this much and mix it into all of this. We, do we see the ratio here? That is nothing. Okay, we have made it to the next phase, everyone. I'm going to finish watching Venom and come back to you, hopefully with something akin to the finished result. One eternity later. Okay, so this is it. You cannot see it at all, but it is there. The purple is there. I promise. Thank you, swear. Just do a little. 
So this is the back of my head, and if I just lift it up, can you see a little bit more of a purple? It's a lot more subtle in real life than I thought it would be. Like you can definitely see little bits of it peeking out, and I think that's kind of exactly what I wanted. I would call this a success, except for the fact that I now have to change my entire wardrobe to match my hair. But yeah, I guess this is where we go into the... What is the clip called with the finished product? <laughs> I can't remember. Editing Campbell, just go there. So this is the finished product. I am struggling to find angles that show off the hair, but this is it. I'm in love with it. I'm going to marry it and it's going to have my children. So that is it if you- Oh, you thought the video was over. But no, I have one final task for you. Go and take the survey that's linked in the description. Guys, I actually don't have a community tab, so I, this is the only way that I have to get it out to you guys. You could determine the future of this channel. It'll take less than 10 minutes and it'll help me out so much. Please take the survey. I'm begging you. And also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. No, but seriously, take the survey.